Hello, how y'all doing? All right, I um, had turned my jukebox off because I don't want any demonetization situations happening. Now, we are in my arcade and we are going to discuss business placement, which I haven't seen anybody discuss this. And it is very important because you can spend a whole lot of money on business placement and then place all your businesses in the wrong place. So, let's talk about it. First of all, this is my arcade. And my arcade is fairly empty because filling your arcade with machines, you could probably spend $4 million on, or I don't know, even more. Maybe, maybe even $8 million on filling your arcade with arcade equipment and it pays out very little I mean let's take a look at my safe inside my arcade here I've been working for a while three four hours and I got 22,000 bucks off that deal and each one of those machines cost almost 400 grand so you figure that out. Some people think that's a good passive income. It's I don't think it is. I think it's better just to you might as well just keep your money in the bank. Now, let's talk about business placement. Let's look at the map here a minute. And let's talk about all my businesses. I have a hangar right here. I have a forgery company here, I have a cocaine business here, I have a weed business there. We are sitting inside my arcade which is attached to my vehicle warehouse. Um, over here I have my motorcycle shot, you know, um, club. My nightclub is here. I have a auto shop right there, it's not showing. I have a crate warehouse here. I have my CEO office building there. My agency is here. These are my houses. Um, I have a meth lab out here. I have a counterfeiting business out here. And then I have my bunker over here. Now, this is a tremendous amount of money that I have spent on all this stuff. Each one of these, each one of these businesses was, by the time you you pimp them all out, is three million dollars. The arcade is easily you could put ten million dollars into that. Um, vehicle warehouse really is just a one-time upfront purchase. The nightclub's another one. You can spend another $5 million on that by the time you um, pip it all out. Million dollar motorcycle club. This is, I believe, I don't know, I don't know if it's $2.5 million or $3 million for that crate business. The office is another $3 million. The agency is millions. And then these businesses out here are... Um, Three million, three million. That's another three million, and then of course I have my facility. Now, when you first start out, depending on what package you purchase and whatnot, you know there's different levels that you can buy Grand Theft Auto in. It comes with certain things that are free. One is, and they give you the shittiest location. There's a motorcycle clubhouse that I give you for free out here. And then there's a bunker they give you out here for free. And I, I that's that's the one I got, you know. So and what I want to talk to you about is when you have all your MC businesses, which is the weed, cocaine, the forgery, the meth lab, and the counterfeiting business. The bunker works in both CEO and MC. I believe you can sell it, sell that in both, but usually I'm under CEO when I sell that. 
when you go to make deliveries for all this stuff, if you purchase, depending on where you purchase it all, if you purchase all of your MC businesses in town, when you go to make your, you want to sell them for the most money you can. So when you sell them for the most money you can, they have you, they have you, um, the, the sale is for the most money is out in Blaine County, which is out here somewheres depending on where they have you ship the stuff so what I've done is I've split my my businesses my MC businesses half out in Blaine County and then half in Los Santos so when I go to sell them I sell to Blaine County let's say I sell my cocaine to Blaine County well then when I'm out in Blaine, Blaine County then I'll, when we're done selling everything, I go over to my counterfeit business and sell it back over to Los Santos. And then I sell my weed business out to Blaine County. And then I go do, then I sell my meth lab back into Los Santos. And then I never sell my forgery business because it's a piece of shit. All right. So doing this is hard. Okay. Because, for instance, I'll show you right now. Um, how this works now I'm in my in my basement of my arcade in my arcade the best purchase you can make is this thing right here is the you know I don't know some computer system that you can purchase at the arcade and what it does is it allows you to replenish all of your businesses that you own right here at this control panel versus having to go to each building and do it to resupply it so if I want to resupply my cocaine shop which I'm gonna need supplies I uh, log into my cocaine lab and I resupply it and that one's gonna cost me 30 grand to resupply so I'll resupply that and um, my weed business is gonna to need to be resupplied again as well so we resupply that done um i don't think my counterfeiting business is going to need to be resupplied my meth lab is definitely going to need to be resupplied and you should usually resupply them when they're about empty you know as far as the um supply levels are empty but i'm just doing this to help you all out so okay so let's say i wanted to um I wanted to sell this stuff. Well, yeah, each one of these facilities, if I if they're full, it's three vehicles that need to be delivered. And you have 28 minutes to do this. So if you're by yourself and you work alone as a solo, which I do, you have no chance to sell three vehicles selling them back and forth to, to Blaine County or Los Santos. You can't do it in 28 minutes. And besides that, 28 minutes is a long time. So. Come on. Okay, lost you there for a minute. So what I do is this. I go into chat I say um, you know I uh, need some help with deliveries thirty K a trip I need two helpers inevitably inevitably what happens is one person from the map will say, I'll help you. And then no one else will help you. So if you only get one helper, it still takes you quite a while. So you're better not to sell anything until you can get two helpers. So, you know, no one responds back as typical because no one knows how to freaking play the game or understands how to really make money so then what you do is you go in and find a new session 
you'll have better luck at this if you can find lower level players, lower than level 100, because they're the ones that need money. If you're playing in a baller session where everyone's over 150 to you know 200 level, you're not going to find anybody to help you. They all have a bunch of money. They all have a bunch of businesses. They all have the same problem you do. So the best thing is to do is just keep finding new sessions and typing into chat, hey, I need help with deliveries. Can I get two helpers? And then the low levels always come back and go, well, what do you need help with delivery? You know, what kind of deliveries are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, and you don't want to put that in chat because then everyone sees it. And then they start hitting your loads. So the point being is when you're doing this, as you as you go along and you have, you're purchasing businesses, you I got to get out of this out of here quickly because my stereo is going off and they're gonna freaking demonetize my shit because of it. So I'm out of there. <laughs> so the best thing to do is when you're purchasing your businesses is to put half of them out, half of your businesses out in Los Santos and half out in Blaine County. Now, here I am at my arcade and my car garage, which I did this on accident, but this is a great arcade to purchase because your my arcade and my car garage are connected to the same building. Okay, so that's awesome. And as you purchase these these buildings, some of them are more expensive than others. Just remember to take and split them up. Don't put them. You can you can purchase. You can put all of your MC businesses in Los Santos proper. All right, and they can be you know some of them are over here, some of them are up here. Some of them are over in here. I have these ones down here. Now, I'm not saying they got to do what I'm doing. I don't mind these down here. Maybe I should have upgraded some of them up into here when I purchased, but they are what they they are at this point. I don't think they're that in that bad of a spot. But I think the my saving grace is the fact that I have three businesses in a group out here. And that way, when I'm selling um, my business, I don't always need to, tr you know, travel back. And when you have a group of three, because that's what you need to sell all these businesses, you need three people to help you. When you have a group of three, every time you deliver out to Blaine County out here, that means the whole group has to fight their way back in town to get to the next location. And you don't want to do that because you're using their time. You're not, it isn't just about your time. It's about their time, really. And you want to be able to do, sell all these businesses in like 35 minutes. And that allows them to make $30,000 a trip. And that makes it profitable for them. Which, you know, each, like this, this is uh, 270000 bucks to sell this. This is $420,000 to sell this for to you. And it doesn't include the $30,000 that you pay them. This is a $350,000 sale. This is a you know $300,000 sale. This is a $1 million sale when you sell it full. If you work by yourself, what happens is you end up selling them at, when they're quarter full because you cannot move the whole, the whole facility by yourself. So we got quite a few players on this one. Let's check it out. I need some help making deliveries. Two helpers, please. All right. We'll see you and we'll wait for chat, see what they say back. And everyone's going to be like, no. And then, then I sweeten it and I go, you know, 30K a trip times five.
You know, we got some dude. He's trolling this place. Let's see if... Now, I get no response to that. And that's, like, I got, there should be, there should be a lot of people to do that, to say, okay, I'm tied up helping someone else prep, otherwise I would. Okay, that's one guy. Everyone else just sits around, doesn't do anything. Doesn't say jack and crap about it. So <laughs> guy in the party store, right? Thought I'd just give him a little hello. Hey bud, let me give you a little <laughs> So that is my suggestion for how to purchase and place your businesses because we're talking about I don't know, I don't even know, 20, 30 million bucks by the time you'd spend all that money. And that's hard to earn all that money. And before you purchase any of these businesses, the first thing you need to do is earn enough money to purchase a submarine and be able to do the, the KO mission because this will allow you $1.6 million each time you complete it. It's probably like a 30 minute setup and then you are able to recoup your initial investment on your sub almost in one trip. So the sub is the first thing I would buy if I had to redo everything over again. I ended up buying the facility first, and that's doing doomsday, which is probably the hardest stuff to do. And then you use your, you use your um, arcade to do the casino heist and it is you know 25 grand to do your casino heist which is a really hard setup as well so doomsday the facility and the casino heist in the arcade are hard to set up versus the sub is an easy setup so anyway i hope that was helpful and we'll see you on the next video Please hit that like button and we'll talk to you soon.